Hello everyone and welcome back. This week I have somebody coming to the Mojo Dojo to take some lessons. This guy's name is Bill Canziora. He is a student and a good friend of mine. This video is from his very first session with me and we are doing a bear bust together and he's gonna learn a bunch of cool tricks. So if you don't mind, hang around and let's see how this thing plays out. My name is Jeff Moore, I'm the Northwoods Carver and thanks for seeing what I saw. So, we, uh, so we're, we're working on a bear bust here. Um, he wants to incorporate some of the new tools that he just picked up. Um, <laughs> All right, well, well, I mean the new, new tools I showed you. Not necessarily physical tools, but the, the mental tools. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the techniques, those tools. Um, and in, implement them on this new carving we're about to do. So stay tuned and watch, and thanks for seeing what we saw. So straight off, we're, we've just kind of, we're doing a top view of the bear, um, just to lay out where the ears are going to be. So we don't want to create a head that's too big for the stump. That wouldn't work out. So we needed to do something to give Bill a better perspective of what lies under that surface where he's going to be able to just do a, you know, follow the, the diagram and follow certain angles and I'm just kind of pointing the way for him and he's actually doing all the drawing and the cutting and things like that. As you can see he's kind of looking at his phone. He's uh, really uh, wanting to to nail a more realistic bear head and uh, I you know I, I can help him there I, but there's there's just certain things I can't help with and that is you know his own perspective needs to you know I can only I have to show him exactly what it is I'm trying to you know uh, execute um, and the only way he can really see uh, to develop past that point is if I just take the tool and take it past where he had been stuck so he can literally see how to go to the next place and uh, so we're just fixing to get the uh, lamination um, we had this weird, uh, it was like a pocket of pitch or something. I don't remember what exactly what that was, but uh, as you can see, we are taking the sandbars that I made myself and uh, finding, you know, spray it with a little paint and then sand, 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 and just make sure you get get it nice and flat. And then we basically took the uh, took a piece of white pine and laminated it to the bear because that was another thing he wanted to learn is lamination so this is where I start with a lot of a lot of carvers is just to give them the idea of okay so this is how it needs to be done and he took that uh, information I guess he does it now I mean this is probably a year ago uh, this is this is an older video that I had I had uh, I think I lost it in my computer <laughs> somewhere it just kind of disappeared but uh, we were using Gorilla Glue and so we moistened the wood before we start and then we just uh, screwed it on there and marked where the screws were and then kind of drew the silhouette of the snout on the face to you know to see exactly how much we needed to cut off and stuff and so we're not we're not too hip on um, sawing too close to the screws it looks like now the uh, well, the screws are still in there you can see, you can see plainly where the snout's going to be. You know, uh, it's a good piece of wood, and it was a good, a good seam, so that worked out good. Yeah, I was using my, I believe that's my 220, my MSA 220. Uh, he has really been buying a lot of saws. He's committed himself to this very much, so it makes it very easy to have somebody like Bill come into the shop because he's. He's really driven. As you can see, we've got a little detail. Kind of missed out on that footage for some reason. I couldn't find it anywhere, but that's where we start kind of smearing back, you know, using that chainsaw bar as like, like your thumbs in clay, finding the shape and creating, uh, using, as you can see, the pictures in the background as reference, 
we're just using that and he's learning now how to use effectively shadow and light um, and manipulating that with the bar like I said earlier it's like putting your thumbs in clay and just peeling the thing back and using the light and the shadow to find the definition that you're looking for let's check it out the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so i can make a better me better believe in your mind because it's everything you can mold shape find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything when i feel like this i'm immortal when i feel like this i'm immortal when i feel like See, now you can see what I was referring to with that light. You have to have that correct light. Um, that's why we keep moving it around so we can follow that light around. And it's going to cast shadow. And we'll take advantage of that once we start, you know, breaking out the little fine tools and and the, the, little, the little chainsaws. And um, now we're discussing how we're going to end this weird bust thing that we started. And... I like to do fragmented stuff, so this is what we're doing. It's, I'm just showing him a different way to finish um, a carving using tools that most of them that he already has. And some he's definitely, you know, since he's, this video has been made, he's purchased a ton of tools. Um, he's probably got 15 saws. <laughs> he's, I think I'm rubbing off on him, but uh, he's a, he's a, he is learning. Um, very quickly and has a great attitude and uh, he thinks um, that this 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 job this this art form is gonna be where he calls it quits you know as far as you know not working for another anybody else again and just being his own man and you know taking care of his family with chainsaw carving and he really relies on me to show him these techniques so that he can advance himself to a point where 
that's gonna that could easily be a reality and uh, he's very appreciative and uh, so am I so since this day we've made we've made a lot of carvings together I've helped him quite a bit he's helped me uh, with doing things in the shop he's just a stand-up standout heck of a guy we're just tickled to death that he shows up when he does and get so much done thanks so bill i took it i took it right down to the point where he um was done seeing what i was you know he, he we took it down to the, everything was the right size and basically the right shape and then i showed him how to take through the nose and you know just basic things it's, it's not like i took this stuff out of his hands and said go sit down and i'm going to finish this so that we can both look good <laughs> <laughs> No, man, it was like, he was right there. Um, matter of fact, I had him draw in all of the lines that needed to be put in by looking at our references and he did all that and then I just followed what he did and he did a great job. So I think moving forward, we're gonna have a ringer on our hands, folks. Let's hope so. We're gonna have a ringer on our hands, man. Because you're teaching. Sure. So, I know. I know. I know. I mean, yeah. Of, course, of, course, it, of course, it course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. So he gets to take this home with him, folks. Yeah. Like he takes this bear home with him and he can use this as a model. He can sell it. Uh, he can do whatever he wants with it. It's his to take home. And um, this one will be keeping. Well, not everybody gets to do this, so just so you know. So some people come in, they'll, they'll try to do a bust. And. Um, we just won't get there, you know. We won't get to there to the point where we have a pretty complete piece. Um, but he was advanced enough where we could get to this point. Just like I said, this was all him blocking everything out. I didn't touch anything of that. Um, I just and I did some of this down here, obviously, to give him an eye, an eye opener on what you can do down there. And but for the most part, it's him and. Uh, the other reason why I like to do all, you know, as much as this detail as I can for the student so that they can go home and they can use this. They're not going to use their own copy. They're going to, they're taking this home for a reason. And so that they can look at this and then, you know, keep it. It's like taking, I mean, what would you rather take pictures of something or take the whole thing with you? Exactly. I mean, this is right there in front of you. And plus, you can also see how the wood reacts when you get it back. Because this thing's going to open up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. I keep telling everybody, I'm a much better fixer than I am a barber. Yeah. <laughs> it's just amazing. All right, well. That's for sure. Let's get you that list made up of all your stuff that you want to um, end up purchasing. And... And then we'll get you loaded up and get you out of here. Thanks, all. It was a pleasure having you here, Bill. Bill takes a lot of classes, so maybe I should just call him Classy Bill. Classy Bill Canziora. Well, anyway, his business name is Apple Creek Carving Company out of Greenleaf, Wisconsin. And anytime you need help, you come by the Mojo Dojo, and we shall see what we can saw.